Alright, welcome back everyone to another Tech Zone video and I finally got a new microphone. Okay, it doesn't sound that great, but um, it's just the best we could get. So, let's begin with the video. So, in today's video tutorial, I'll show you how to um, add a thumbnail, like the one in the bottom right here, uh, to your videos in Sony Vegas Pro. So, sort of like copyright, let's say. So, um, let's begin. So I'm going to open up Sony Vegas Pro. I'm using 8. Even 9 would work. And um, let's make a new project and let's add a video. Uh, so I just made a video on Counter-Strike. Let's add that one. Oh no, not that one. Sorry. Okay, that should do. So um, this is the Counter-Strike video. Okay, I don't know what the hell. Okay, this is the part. Okay, so we're going to try add a thumbnail to the video. Okay, I'll just remove this maintain aspect ratio thing. Okay, so this is how you do it. You're going to insert a video track. It's really easy to do, and it should be above everything. Now, you must have a picture. Okay, here's what I recommend. If you're making a logo in um, Photoshop, here is what you do. Just open it up quickly so I can just teach you. Okay, in the meantime, um, make a logo 128 by 128 dimensions or 64 by 64 or even 32 by 32. And once you're done with that, you are going to import your icon into the timeline. So it's this one. Just going to expand it. That's my... Uh, um, thumbnail image I'm going to be using I made it in Photoshop okay so here we have it's huge so we're going to correct that you're going to go to event pan crop and uh, you should get that so use a scroll wheel and just zoom out a lot so just do that and your thumbnail will get smaller now move it and just check if the thumbnail is going to go to the bottom left or wherever you want it let's keep it there because if you go further it's like disappearing oh yeah to correct that just right click that properties maintain aspect ratio that should be a little wider but I'm sure you can deal with that if you don't want it to be like that then here's what you can do on the left side lock aspect ratio should be disabled so you can stretch it as much as you want but there's a limit so now we have just reached that limit I can't expand anymore Let's keep it right over here. Now, until you get this hand icon above the uh, track, opacity is 100%. We're going to reduce that to around 50 or 70%. And there we have is your thumbnail. Okay, so we have a thumbnail for your whole video. Now, how do you make a thumbnail in Photoshop? Well, Oops, did a mistake. Okay, we'll just go to new. The size will be 128 by 128. And we will just maximize this. I'm going to make this quick. And make a circle. If you want, you can add a style to it. Um, okay, let's just put this one. And let's make a circle. Now you should see a style has been added to it. Let's just see the blending options if I could change it or not. That should be it. Okay now we're gonna add a text. I'll just um, put the letter C or something. Who cares? Uh, T. Okay I'll just change the font color drag it there oh god yeah that looks weird make the font bigger okay that should do it let's drag it over there put some um, special stuff in this yeah a little bit to do, no problem. 
Okay. And finally, let's just add this. Okay. So this is going to be the thumbnail. And now the only problem is we don't want the background, this white background in the corners to be in the video. We want it to be like transparent, just a circle. To do that, under the layers, we have background, right? Double click this lock um, icon, click OK, and now delete this layer. You should see like a ch checkerboard background now. That means it's invisible, no problem. Go to go to File, Save As, type as PNG, and icon yes okay now see oh crap I just replaced my current thumbnail oh no <laughs> no it's okay I can make another one uh, so it should be replaced right over here oh my god what did I just do no problem I can make another one so um, that's about it hope you enjoyed the video if you didn't want to subscribe for more so um I re I'll release this video later. So um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Why don't you subscribe for more? So thanks for watching and have a great day.